Welcome to the Breadbox Commodore Computer Museum. My name's Justin and if you've been following me, you know I haven't actually uploaded anything for the last couple of months. Uh, I've been a bit tied up with my job, my, my job that obviously pays my bills. It's uh, turned from a, a five day a week to a seven day a week job, so I just haven't had time to be able to upload anything. But thank you very much for everyone who sent me emails asking if I was okay. Uh, I thought it was pretty cool. And uh, it's nice to be missed. So thank you. So I'm getting back on track, so I'll be able to make videos more regularly again. Um, next week I'm going to be making a video celebrating the 40 years of Commodore 64. So August 2022, Commodore 64 is 40 years old. Wow. How old does that make us feel? <laughs> it's, it's crazy. 40 years ago. Watch out for that video next week. Uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of giveaways during that video to, to celebrate the 40 years of Commodore 64. Also, I've had a lot of additions to the Commodore Computer Museum over that time. So what I'll do is, and these, this is one of them, but I'm going to showcase this today. What I'll do is showcase those new additions next week as well. And so you can see what things have come in to the museum. Some of the things were quite interesting. Now, one of those interesting things is this box of matches with the Commodore computer logo. In the later years of Commodore, they sponsored different football clubs like Chelsea and Bayern Munich, or Bayern Munich. I'm not too sure how to pronounce that. The German club anyway, very famous German club. This video is sponsored by Surfshark. Our family has personally used Surfshark for over three years now and we love it. Not only does it protect our family's online security, but also unlocks the geolocks on Netflix, Disney+, Amazon Prime, and others, giving us loads more movies, TV shows to be able to access anytime we want. Sign up today for an ultimate deal. And this is the, I think it's Bayern Munchen. Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments below, I don't mind, it's all good. So, and this is the matchbox that Bayern Munich had with the Commodore sponsorship. These matches were released between 1984 and 1985, or well, at least they had the 1984 to 1985 players' images on these matches. So as I mentioned, uh, this is the Commodore matchbooks for the team, the Bayern Munich, Bayern Munchen, I have no idea how to pronounce that. Anyway, the, the team for 1984 and 1985 season, on the front cover, we've got uh, one of the profile pictures, but also the explanation of how to set this box up for retail display. But I'm not going to do that right now, of course, because I don't want to wreck a very fragile box as it is. I'll just show you on the each side of it. What's on each side? And beautiful Commodore logo. There's nothing underneath. Just say no. So let's have a look. So there's a, obviously a very large amount of matches. I think there's a hundred in each box from memory. And these, of course, are called match books or a book of matches. So I thought I'd just go through and explain or show what's on each of the, the matches. So on the front, is a, a profile picture of a player from the 1984-1985 season. And the interesting thing is that it's not just a profile picture, it's actually a sticker. And on the inside, you've got a, the matches, of course, <laughs> and also a little bit of an explanation here about buying the collector's poster to stick the profile pictures of the players on. So there it says, I think, hopefully you can see it okay. Hello Commodore fans and football friends. Here are some great matchsticks with the FC team. Bayern, or Bayern Munchen. Again, I'm not too sure how to pronounce that. With stickers to peel off, collect and exchange. You can find them in many specialty shops that carry Commodore computers. Interesting, eh? Obviously this is in Germany, so I don't know if they were available anywhere else. And it goes on to say, ask for the attractive collection poster or send 1.30 Deutschmark, I assume that is, 
in stamps to the Commodore Fan Club PO Box, blah, 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 blah. So I don't actually have the collector's poster, of course, but that would be a cool addition to the set here. Now, interestingly, every single matchbook in this box are of, now I'm gonna pronounce this wrong as well, uh, date, data or data. Ironically, that's actually quite significant because even though I haven't got the rest of the images, but I'll show those on the screen right now. The interesting thing about Dita is that he retired in 1987 and then he became the public relations manager for Commodore Computers. So it's quite ironic or quite cool that the ones I got in this box are all of the guy who ended up working for Commodore. But on the back here, to addition of the, the beautiful Commodore logo, we also have uh, Commodore advertising at the top of each Mashbox. And I'll show you those on the screen, all the different ones that uh, were on its different boxes. Each one was promoting either the Commodore 64 or Commodore computers in general. Some of them were quite quick. So that's just one of the interesting items I've received over the last couple of months while I was offline. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, anything Commodore related, I just love. And I love adding them to the Commodore Computer Museum as well. So what I'll do in next week's celebration video, celebrating the 40 years of Commodore 64, that's August the 20th, I'll release that. And I'll make sure I release that on time. What I'll do is also showcase the other interesting items that have turned up over the last couple of months. Uh, some of them are quite quirky, some of them are quite interesting, and uh, but they're all very, very cool, and I'm sure you'll enjoy the little showcase I'll do for each one. Hey, thanks for watching, and thanks for your patience while I've been offline. I'll see you next time.